Hi guys, it's Dylan from Bijou Diamond Jewelry in London with another watch discussion video and today we're taking a look at a special strap from Rubber Bee. During this little review of, uh, of the strap, I'm going to take into account different things that we've encountered from our clients and points that our clients have given us about straps in general. Uh, there are tons of rubber straps out there on the market and our clients have tried lots of different straps. We've tried different straps as well here at Bijou uh, Diamond Jewelry in-house uh, to really be able to help us um, advise our clients to the best of our ability which straps are the best for their watches. Certain or some of our clients don't like to keep their watches on the original bracelets or original straps so it's good for us to know you know what are the best straps out there. Um, so I'm going to take into account pointers that they've told us about uh, things they like and don't like about certain straps and also what we've discovered about rubber straps out there as well. I'll explain some of the reasons in this video of why we always now recommend rubber bead to our clients and also new clients as well. Um, but so I'm just gonna start with some of the details on Rubber Bee that makes them slightly unique or actually just some details about the straps they make. So Rubber Bee only sell vulcanized rubber straps um, and vulcanized strap rubber basically is heat treated rubber. Uh, the word vulcanized comes from the Roman god of fire called Vulcan. Uh, and basically the vulcanization process, like I said, involves heat treatment, but also the addition of sulfur as well. And what that does, the heat treatment and the sulfur, um, strengthens the bonds between the atoms in the molecular structure of the rubber, which makes it extremely strong uh, versus normal standard rubber. So this is obviously really useful for a watch strap that is susceptible to lots of wear and tear as it's on your wrist all day long, uh, quite regularly for most people that actually buy these, or most of our clients that own these, uh, they actually put these rubber straps on their day-to-day -day watches. So uh, it's important that these straps can undergo a lot of um, you know, the daily tolls and stresses uh, that a watch can be susceptible to or a strap can be susceptible to. Uh, some of those wear and tear things are things like solvents, so fragrances, um, uh, you know, or maybe washing up liquid, etc, etc. So maybe some harsh chemicals. Um, oils also can damage rubber, uh, so sweat, different, several different chemicals, salt water, etc, chlorine. Um, there's loads of uh, solvents that you can look at that can damage rubber. Another thing that we have to look out for is things like stretching, tearing, uh, warping and also scratching. Uh, it's important to take into account all those different things for day-to-day -day wear. Um, and vulcanized rubber is extremely resistant to all of those things that I mentioned due to that uh, really strong molecular structure. A lot of our clients that were using uh, cheaper straps um, compared to rubber B straps or lesser quality straps were finding that their straps were becoming tarnished quite easily and quickly, uh, stretching, warping, um, scratching especially, and also tearing. So those things there, uh, those wear and tear items there that I said, or circumstances, were things that clients were often telling us uh, were things that are happening to their rubber straps and they obviously wanted to find a, a replacement that wouldn't do that. And obviously vulcanized rubber from Rubber B uh, was really the best solution that we could find to that uh, because it is so resistant to all those different things. Another brilliant thing about uh, vulcanized rubber is that it's not coated. It doesn't need a coating. Uh, lesser quality rubber or lesser strength rubber has to be coated with a special coating to protect the rubber un underneath. Um, and over time, that coating can be worn away. You can see that on a lot of uh, straps from other brands where the coating becomes a little bit shiny uh, or is originally matte and then the coating gets worn away um, and it becomes slightly shiny or discolored underneath. Another little great point about uh, vulcanized rubber as well is that vulcanized rubber is a very soft, um, non-sticky or tacky feel, or it doesn't have a tacky feel to it. If you feel normal rubber, it kind of pulls against your skin and sometimes pulls hairs as well because it's quite a tacky, sticky feel, whereas vulcanized rubber is completely matte and very soft the actual vulcanization process removes that sticky feel. Another great thing about vulcanized rubber straps is that it doesn't wear away and become shiny like cheaper rubber straps do. Uh, that's one of the worst looks on a rubber strap is when it starts to become shiny and has a sheen to it. It just ruins the whole aesthetic of the rubber and you get this discrepancy where you've got half your strap as a satin finish and then some accents on it as a shiny finish. It just doesn't look very uh, clean or high-end or luxury. And a brilliant thing that's unique actually to Rubber B 
is uh, actually that we can show you specifically on this strap as well, um, is their Volchromatic technology. And that is specifically looking at that strip of red color that we he see here on this one. This is available in different colors from them. Um, but basically what it is, is uh, bonding a minor color, so this red in this case, to a major color like the black. Um, and most companies will just glue this strip on or they will paint that strip with red paint or red dye. Um, and what happens with those straps is that over time, if it's bonded or glued, uh, it basically comes off, that strip will come off and, and start peeling away from the major color, i.e. the black in this case. Um, and if it's painted or dyed, uh, that dye or paint will eventually wear off uh, and you'll have a different color underneath. Uh, so it doesn't look very good, doesn't stand the test of time. Uh, whereas the Volchromatic technology that they use uh, at Rubber Bee is actually a patented technology that only they have, um, whereby the uh, two pieces of rubber are actually fused in the production process, which means it's not a different color painted on, uh, so it's never going to lose its color. And secondly, it's never coming off because it's actually part of the rubber strap itself. So overall, looking at all those different points there, you can see clearly uh, Rubber Bee has really thought about how they can uh, make sure these straps really stand the test of time. They are able to stand up against the wear and tear of everyday life and everyday use. Uh, you know, these straps are made for sports watches as well. Uh, most of the watches they're made for are sports watches. So it's, they're designed to take the tolls of more aggressive wear and tear versus just wearing it in the office. And overall, that just means that the strap is gonna last longer and look newer for much longer as well. It's gonna look new and fresh. It's not gonna fade or look really nasty. Um, they are just brilliant straps that are really built to stand the test of time. I think it's kind of a unique area of the watch market. Um, it's funny because people's mentality with straps is that they're meant to be disposable. Uh, you know, you think about a leather strap, you know, that has a limited shelf life on it. And a rubber strap, people see the same thing, you know, that it has a limited shelf life. You can't have it for that long. You keep the watch, but you don't keep the strap. So at Bijou Diamond Jewelry, we've really tried to educate people and make them understand that actually if you buy a good quality strap, it's not disposable, it can live with your watch for the rest of its life if you look after it properly. Um, and really that's what Rubber B have strived to do is really to look for or build a strap that is all about longevity and high quality and something that will last a long, long time, um, if not the lifetime of the watch, if it's looked after properly. A really big selling point about Rubber B that we always explain to our clients, um, and again, something that they definitely notice when they see the strap in real life, is that this is a Swiss-made strap. And it's actually the only company to make their straps in Switzerland. Of course, Patek Philippe, you know, Audemars Piguet, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they make their straps in their factories um, or other factories in Switzerland. Um, but Rubber B is the only aftermarket company to actually make their straps in Switzerland. There are some other companies out there, uh, rubber strap companies that claim their straps are made in Switzerland but actually only a small portion of the production process is made or actually is originated in Switzerland. Uh, the rest is actually put together elsewhere um, outside of the EU, uh, whereas rubber bees process from start to finish all in Switzerland. And what comes with a Swiss made strap? Well, we're buying Swiss watches and all these uh, straps are made for Swiss watches and clients straight away notice when we put the strap on their watch that the same attention to detail and perfection that goes into their timepiece is carried over onto that strap. And that is obviously the same Swiss mentality uh, that goes across the whole watch industry and Rubber B have taken that same mentality and applied it to their straps. And I think that's what our clients have really fell in love with, uh, with these Rubber B straps, because it's so rare to find an aftermarket strap that feels as if it was made by that actual brand for that very specific watch. Uh, for example, this strap for this Rolex Daytona feels exactly like it's come direct from the factory, built specifically for this watch from Rolex. Uh, which brings me on to the fit and finish on these. And the fit and finish is brilliant. That is what the clients love. Like I said, you know, the spacing is perfect around the straps, the alignment is perfect. Everything is micro adjusted uh, when they make a strap in the factory um, to make sure it fits the watch perfectly. And this is a really underrated thing. I can't stress this enough. The actual alignment on your watch is incredibly important. We actually have quite a few repairs here in London uh, per year for people who have put uh, poor quality straps on their watches and that has actually damaged the, the lugs on the watch or the rest of the case on the watch. 
um, but most of the time the most damaged area of the watch is actually the pins uh, and they can often be bent and skewed and we have to throw them away and get brand new ones so uh, it's important really to find a strap like rubber bee straps that are aligned properly for your watch and not going to break the watch. Okay, so that kind of concludes uh, the specific stuff uh, about Rubber B and stuff they do to make their straps unique. Um, and in our opinion at Bijou Diamond Jewelry, the best of the best that you can buy in terms of rubber straps. Um, we actually find the quality is better on Rubber B straps versus some uh, big important brands in the industry. Uh, so let's have a look at this specific model for this Daytona. And the one we're looking at here, like I said, is a Volchromatic strap. This one here features the original clasp from this Daytona. Uh, which is a really nice touch. Um, my favorite thing about the strap is of course that we have this black strap with the black bezel, the black dial, um, and then the really nice red accent on the strap to match the red Daytona writing on the dial. That is really special. I think it's such a cool feature um, to match up those different elements from the watch and replicate it over onto the uh, actual strap as well. Yes, the bracelet is better for dressy looks, and there's no denying that this uh, rubber strap does dress down this watch. You know, you can't really wear it with a suit uh, with this rubber strap on. I'm sure many people will, but uh, really the bracelet is a much better option if you want to wear it with a suit. Um, but this is just a brilliant sports watch now, uh, now that's on this rubber strap. It's much more comfortable than the bracelet as well. And it's stealthier, it's a bit more unique as well. You don't really, you know, the, the likelihood of you seeing someone wearing this exact variation of strap with this exact watch is very slim. The likelihood of you seeing someone wearing a steel Daytona is quite high. So uh, yeah, it's nice that you can have that unique look. Um, also the fact it's stealthier, you know, a little bit more understated now that's on the strap. So would I own this strap? Of course. I would definitely own this and I would definitely own it on this steel Daytona. I love the fact that it has the clasp, the original clasp on this one. Um, I have a Submariner with the uh, white rubber bee strap with the buckle on it. Uh, which is a really cool look. It, I think it kind of suits the Submariner a little bit better because the Submariner is much more of a sports utility watch. Um, you know, it has a bit more of a chunky, rugged feel, whereas the Daytona has got much more of a delicate feel. And I think the fact that it has its own original clasp on it uh, just adds to the kind of higher end feel of a Daytona. So yes, this variation is one of my favorite rubber bee straps they do. It's one of my favorite rubber straps full stop. Um, they do some really cool variations for Audemars Piguet and Patek Philippe as well uh, and some brilliant straps from Rolexes, they're by far the leaders in the industry um, and we always recommend them to our clients because without fail they are always the best option for each client. Thanks guys for watching, uh, let us know in the comments would you put a strap on your watch, it's quite an interesting debate about uh, keeping watches factory or changing them up. We're finding increasingly now with our clients that they want to uh, change the look of their watches and make them a bit more unique um, to them. Uh, we also find that clients are increasingly uh, preferring straps over bracelet because they are much more comfortable um, in general and also a little bit better for everyday wear as well. It's pretty difficult to scratch or mark a strap, whereas it's very easy to scratch a bracelet. And as always, if you're interested in any of the watches mentioned during this video, um, or actually these rubber bee straps, then don't hesitate to contact us. We can always call them into stock for you.